Okay, number nine, nice and tricky. It's actually making you pull in some of your algebra knowledge. Find the equation of a tangent line to the circle in slope inter intercept form. So that's y equals mx plus b. So we have a center of negative 5, 4. And then um, we have a point of tangency of tangent line negative 1, 2. Okay, cool. So this is right there. That's negative 1, comma 2. And then we have our center line. Our center, I mean, at negative 5, comma 4. So the question is, and this is going to help us, what is the slope of that line? Okay, well this is a tangent line, that's a radius, so we know that this is perpendicular. So first let's find the slope of that line we just drew. Let's put it in green so it's clear. Okay, we're trying to find the slope of the green line. Slope formula is y2 minus y1, so we're going to do 2 minus 4, y2 minus y1, over x2, negative 1, minus negative 5. That's going to give us negative 2 over, okay, negative 1 minus negative 5 is the same as negative 1 plus 5, which is 4. So our slope is negative 1 half. And then that's the slope of the green line. The slope of the tangent line is going to be the opposite reciprocal of that. So if we're looking for the slope of the tangent line, that's going to be equal to positive 2 over 1, which is just positive 2. That's equal to m. So then we have y equals 2 times x plus b. Now we have to solve for b using our point on the line. Here's our point, uh, negative 1, comma 2. So we plug in 2 and negative 1. We get 2 equals negative 2 plus b. So then b equals 4. So our final equation of our line, we have our b, we have our m. So our final answer is y equals, okay, so y equals 2x plus 4. Now this is actually kind of a bad study guide question because if we look at this, what the heck? This line is a negative sloping line and this line is a positive sloping line on the picture. But in our calculations, it's a negative sloping line, the green one, and this is a positive sloping line, which is opposite of what we'd expect. So the reason is, is that this picture is not drawn correctly. All right, so negative 5 comma 4, okay, if we think about that being on the coordinate plane, right, negative 5 comma 4 would be somewhere up here, right? So let's just estimate where it would be, like, be like right there. Okay, draw all right, and then negative 1 comma 2 would be, well, negative 1 comma 2 would be like down here, right? But in this case, negative 5 comma 4 is down here and negative 1 uh, comma 2 up here. That doesn't make sense. So we shouldn't use the picture. We should just use the points to come up with our, our slopes and our intercepts. So our calculations are all correct. This is the correct answer. But some of you may have looked at this and raised your eyebrow and said, wait a minute. This is a negative sloping line on the picture. How is it possible we have a positive sloping line? So I just wanted to clarify that. All right, number 10. Assume the lines are tangent. Find the value of each variable. Okay, we are in business. So uh, we got y, we got x going on here. Let's see, let's see. Okay, well, first we can find x because here we have 72. Here we have 95. We know that this all has to add 360, so let's just do 360 minus 95 minus 72. That's 360 minus 167. Okay, so then that must be a little bit less than 200. We'll call it uh, 193 is x. Sweet, and you should double check that work, but I'm pretty sure we're good to go. And then now let's find y. So we know that y is an angle that's on the exterior, so it's going to be equal to one half the difference of this uh, arc, the x arc, in 72. So we have 193 minus 72, and then we're going to divide that by 2 to get y. Okay, so 193 minus 72. That's equal to 1, or sorry, not 1, yeah, 121 divided by 2. So then that's going to be equal to 
five. All right, double check all that work and then we're good to go.